a vat of fermented cabbages for a long winter, a pot of fish soup for a warm conversation, a loaf of bread for the whole family for a week. These traditions in Harbin, a northern city in China, are part of its unique culinary culture. In China's far north, there's a winter banquet called the Pig Feast. Harbin residents who love this feast are often described as rough and muscular. Two Chinese dynasties, the Jin and Qing, were established by these hardy northern people. Heilongjiang province has a long history of raising pigs. The feast can refer to a series of dishes or just the main course, which has fermented cabbage as a featured ingredient. Wu Guangqi has written two books about local and national cuisine and explains the origin of fermented cabbage. Chinese it became a local favorite in the winter. The popular internet song, Northeasterners Are All Good People, ended on a sour note. Wu demonstrates how to prepare the pig feast. Wu says boiled pork belly is used. Cooking raw meat directly is a shortcut. Once the meat changes color, cold water is added along with salt and pepper. Now it's time to put in fermented cabbage, followed by noodles. Let it simmer for 20 minutes and it's ready. Wu says this dish was featured at a banquet when Premier Zhou Enlai visited Harbin. The Premier was very impressed. Master chef demonstrates how the fermented cabbage is made. First, we 
老百姓家一般都用用冷水去腌腌这个酸菜。其实吧，用这个开水烫一下比较效果发酵的好，口感会更好一些。After one minute, the cabbages are taken out and rinsed in cold water. 这菜现在是为什么要这么处理？啊，因为吧，焯熟的时候比较热，为什么冰一下？因为热的时候下到缸里就会变质。Thick and heavy vats are preferred. It's challenging to place the cabbages in the vat and seal it tightly. 我们放一层白菜，来进行撒一层盐。但是盐吧，不能撒太多，也不能撒太少。撒太少之后吧，白的容易变质。嗯，撒太多之后。Once the cabbage has been firmly pressed, the vat is sealed and stored in a cool place with a temperature of between 5 and 10 degrees Celsius. The fermented cabbage will be ready in 35 days. This fermented cabbage recipe is very popular. You can cook it, cook it, cook it. Fermented cabbage with noodles is a common dish in Harbin. Shredded cabbage is fried with pre-cooked noodles and lean meat. Crisp and delicious, it's a perfect match for rice. Wu's fermented cabbage boiled with meat is a simplified dish. Chefs in restaurants still create the traditional pig feast. The 就是从这个满族的最原始的这个，呃，杀年猪这块儿流行。The traditional dish involves boiling fermented cabbage with pork in a stock made from intestines. Pre-cooked liver, intestines, and other parts of the pig can be selectively added. During three hours of stewing. The shredded cabbage absorbs the taste of the meat without losing its texture. This Manzu people have a habit of eating pork and eating pork. Eating pork is to eat a pork for a year and then cut it in two parts. After it is cooked, it is washed and then put it in a big pot. It is washed and then put it in a big pot. It is washed and then put it in a big pot. It is washed and then put it in a big pot. It is washed and the pig feast was a Manchu favorite long before they took control of China 450 years ago. A fishing village becomes a popular spot as lunchtime approaches and a cold salad made with fish is a treat in winter. This is the contrasting tastes of Harbin. The name Harbin comes from the Manchu language and means place for drying a fishing net. Over 200 years ago, fishing villages dotted the banks of the Songhua River. Today, the remaining fishing villages have a thriving business selling wild fish caught in the river. As lunchtime draws near, people arrive in the fishing village. They come to sit around a big pot and enjoy the fresh taste of fish. Here, one eats whatever the fishermen catch. They set out early each morning to fish and return in the afternoon to sell their fish from the boat. Restaurant owner Wang Li Wei negotiates with each boat to buy their catch. If I buy this fish, what price do you 
我跑这这么远，我油钱我就二百。那没办法，到现在来的人特别多，<笑>是吧？我都来来都买不着。Wang Liwei purchases the fish on the two boats. Although it's not much, it beats getting nothing. Back at the village, the fish soup is made according to the local tradition, burning firewood underneath a large pot. The fire also warms the diners seated close to it, a treat on a winter day. As the stew is cooking, the chef prepares four additional dishes. All eyes, however, remain on the big pot. When preparing to eat the fish soup, chopped scallion, ginger, and parsley are placed in a bowl before filling it with soup. The soup is scooped from the spot where it's boiling to avoid being too oily. No seasonings are added during cooking, so the flavor of the fish dominates. A little dipping sauce enhances the flavor. Once done with the fish, cabbage, eggplant, noodles, tofu, and other condiments are added to the soup, along with a special sauce. In 10 minutes or so, it can be enjoyed. This is 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 呃，排骨炖豆角，炖菜整个是我们哈尔滨人最常用的一种烹调方法。During the cold days of winter, people look forward to a hot meal in a warm room. But despite the outside temperature, in Harbin, people enjoy a salad made of raw fish. 我们是哈尔滨这个半生鱼是从贺浙人传过来的，七零年的时候。曾经到过贺浙乡，那进军口八达镇，在那儿跟这个老渔夫吃了一个半生鱼，那个半生鱼啊很有味道。这个我们俩这个一边摇着乳，一边到江里钓鱼，钓上来以后啊，老渔夫就当面给我一加工，把这个鱼丝切的非常细，呃细，而且呢，这个加点这个香菜末，加点葱花，嗯、呃，加了点这个白醋。就这么一抓，非常简单，非常简单
但是吃质非常好。The raw fish salad in Harbin is different from Japanese sashimi. Only live fish are used. The preparation is simple. Thinly sliced fish is soaked in white vinegar to kill any microorganisms, then mixed with seasonings and other ingredients. Local people often enjoy cold dishes when drinking liquor. In the cold climate of northern China, the local people love to drink. Nothing produces a sensation of warmth faster than a mouthful of burning liquor. Cold salads naturally taste better than warm or spicy food at this time. Strong liquor warms the body while cold snacks cool the mouth. Harbin has many restaurants that serve European food. And there's a local bread bake that people will line up in the cold to buy. This is the contrasting tastes of Harbin. A busy street in downtown Harbin features numerous European-style buildings and restaurants. Walking along it can make one forget this is a Chinese city. Eventually, a long line comes into view. People are waiting in the cold to buy a loaf of freshly baked big bread. People are waiting to buy Russian bread. About 200 years ago, New railways connected Harbin with Russia and Europe. People from over 30 nations made their way to Harbin, eventually making up over half of the city's population. They settled down here, contributing a European influence to the new city. Bread and other European foods are very popular in Harbin. Harbin in Harbin has at a traditional bakery in Harbin, big bread is baked by Jiang Jing Li, a fifth generation baker. Chang uses a Russian style oven capable of baking more than 300 loaves of bread at one time. Despite being repaired many times, the century-old oven still works. Jiang says the only variation from the traditional method is the addition of two mixers. Each machine can handle 150 kilograms of flour. Manually kneading the dough no longer meets the demand for the bread. The quality of the bread, however, still relies on a baker's experience. The secret of making big bread lies in fermentation. It's said that the century-old starter culture used by Jiang contains many probiotics. 
Jang explains that their fermentation method is closely linked to a key ingredient in brewing beer, hops. The firewood used in the oven has been thoroughly dried and quickly ignites. It will burn for about 40 minutes. During that time, the bakers become very busy. There are four bakers on the team. One ensures that each loaf weighs two kilograms. The other three are responsible for kneading the dough into shape. It takes about eight seconds to finish. They make more than 300. Despite their deadline, Jang offers the opportunity to experience the process. <laughs> <laughs> Kneading is harder than it looks. The dough is not quite as simple to handle as expected. It easily becomes too dry for baking after excessive kneading, and it's time to start over. A challenging job indeed. The dough has been kneaded into shape, and the wood is almost finished burning. Experienced bakers need to estimate and adjust the oven temperature accordingly. At the same time, the dough is undergoing final fermentation. As the bread goes into the oven, the one made by the reporter is marked. The bakers laugh and say it will be no problem telling which is which. After one hour, the big bread is ready. Guided by the bakers, the test loaf is removed from the oven. <laughs> the warm loaves of big bread are placed on the shelf to cool. Within an hour, they'll be put in bags to be sold to the people waiting in line. It's time to say goodbye to the flat loaf of big bread, but it is difficult. Perhaps the same thing can be said about Har Bin and its unusual mix of influences. <laughs> <laughs>